In this video we learn about casting, methods of casting and their inspection and defects. Step involved in making the casting. Make the pattern out of wood, metal or plastic. Prepare the necessary sand mixtures for mold and core making. Melt the metal to allow to be cast. Pour the molten metal slash alloy into mold and remove the casting from the mold after the metal solidifies. Clean and finish. Test and inspection. Remove the defect. Casting method. Foundry or casting is the process of producing metal, alloy component part of desired shape by pouring the molten metal, alloy into the mold of that shape and then allowing the metal, alloy to cool and solidify. The solidified piece of metal, alloy is known as casting. Types of casting methods. Sand mold casting. Permanent mold casting. Slush casting. Shell mold casting. Invest or lost wax casting. Die casting, pressure die casting. Vacuum casting. Centrifugal casting. Continuous casting. Sand mold casting. It is a model of anything so constructed that if may be used for forming an impression called sand mold. It is used for producing simple, small and medium sized casting. Permanent mold casting. This casting is also called as gravity die casting. Because, molten metal is poured into the mold under gravity only, no external pressure is applied to force the molten metal into the mold cavity. Its name is permanent mold because, it uses permanent or reused many times. Permanent mold are made of grey cast iron, alloy steels or non-ferrous alloys. The permanent mold is made in two halves in order to facilitate the removal of casting from the mold. Slush casting. This method is special application of permanent mold casting in which hollow casting are produced without the use of cores. In this method the molten metal is poured into the metallic mold and allowed to solidify up to the required thickness. Normally, small thickness casting of lead, zinc and low melting alloy are obtained by this process. Shell casting. It is a process in which the sand mixed with a thermal setting resin is allowed to come into contact with a heated metallic pattern plate so that a thin and strong shell of mold is formed around the pattern. Then the shell is removed from the pattern and the kelp and drag are removed together and kept in a flask with the necessary backup material. After that the molten metal is poured into this mold. Investment or lost wax casting. Invest casting process is also known as lost wax casting. This process uses pattern of an expandable material. The mold is called investment which is prepared by pouring refractory slurry over. Die casting, pressure die casting. Die casting is also known as pressure die casting. Die casting is a metal casting process that is characterized by forcing molten metal under high pressure into a mold cavity. To mold cavity is created using two hardened tool steel dies which have been machined into shape and work. Similar, to an injection mold during the process. Vacuum casting. Vacuum casting is the casting process for elastomers using a vacuum to draw the liquid material into the mold. This process is used when air entrapment is a problem, these are intricate details or undercut or if the material is fiber or wire reinforced. Centrifugal casting. In this casting, the axis of the mold and that of the rotation don't coincide with each other. Part are not symmetrical about any axis of rotation and cast in a group of mold arranged in circular. The setup resolved around the center of circle to exert pressure on the metal and the mold. The mold cavity are fed by a central spore under the action of centrifugal force. The metal is introduced at the center and fed into the mold to radial ignites. Continuous casting. In this process the casting of metal is done continuously. The molten metal is continuously poured into a mold. The molten metal is poured from a crucible to a heated basin and then to mold. The mold usually long and internal shape of mold corresponds to that of cross section of casting required. Then the molten metal passes vertically downward through a set of water cooled rollers and later by compressed air for cooling purpose. Advantages Cheaper process 
casting surface better. Process are easily mechanized. Cleaning of casting. Many times the attached with riser and gets to extra metal are attached. The cleaning of casting refers to the removal of gate, riser and sand. Also cleaning may involve machining or finishing of cast product. The cleaning operation usually performed on casting are given below. Removal of gates, riser feed etc. Remove the unwanted metal by machining. Process. Surface cleaning. Usually high molten metal, sand particle. Near the surface of the casting and get fused sand. Clean the surface. Trimming. Unwanted material is removed by using hammer and chisel or pneumatic or by use of grinder. Finishing. The finishing is the final stage of cleaning. Inspection of casting. Following are the various method of inspection. Destructive inspection. It include picking up of a few sample. Cast and cutting them into pieces at the point where a defect are suspected and then examine surface. Distortion non-method of inspection. In non-distortion inspection method is done without destroying casting. Various methods are visual inspection, dimensional inspection, radiographic inspection, flower scent penetrant test, eddy current inspection. Defects of casting. Casting defects are not usually not accidentally, they occurs because some steps in the manufacturing cycle do not get properly controlled and somewhere goes wrong. Types of defect. Blow holes. Porosity. Shrinkage. Hot tires. Drop. Rampage. Metal penetration. Fusion. Fine, runouts. Blow hole. The blow holes which are visible on the surface of casting. Porosity. This defects occurs in the casting in the form of pin porosity or gas porosity. Create a small voids through the casting called porosity. Shrinkage. During a solidification of metal, there is a volumetric shrinkage to compact this proper feeding of liquid metal is required. Hot tires. As a metal has low strength at high temperature, the unwanted cooling stresses may cause the rapture tear, of casting. Drop. This defect occurs when the upper surface of the mold crack and pieces of loose sand fall into the molten metal. Rampage. The deformation take place due to internal stresses developed in the casting. Metal penetration. The molten metal enters into the space between the sand grains and holds some of the sand tightly. Fusion. This defect results in brittle and glassy appearance on the casting surface. Fine, runouts. This is because of the leakage of molten metal out of the mold at the parting surface. To view more educational videos of engineering, please like, share and subscribe to my channel.